channel trailing Danita here if you are in love with natural hair beauty fashion and lifestyle then this is the place what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there and be sure to hit that notifications button so you'll be notified every time I upload a video Hi right, guys I'm back with another hair tutorial a hair video this is really not a tutorial I wanted to try this wet look on my thick type 4 hair so here we go this trend has been around for a while and I'm just getting around to it so just work with me people. I do have thick hair so um, that's why I've been hesitant in trying this trend and this style but now I'm willing to try it out and here we go. Hair has been freshly washed, detangled and separated and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to be working in sections the tools that I'm going to be using will be a modified DIN MIM brush, my TD Curl Cousin Detangler brush, of course a regular brush to smooth out my hair. It's a regular shower comb just to help with the detangles as well. This shower comb is a part of the TD Curl Cousin kit as well. I'll be sure to link the kit somewhere here as well as down in the description box if you're interested. Seeing uh, the mist bottle, it's filled with water to saturate my hair because like I said, it's a wet look so we're trying to keep the hair saturated throughout the styling process and I'll be using this spray bottle to keep my hair moisturized. That I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a combination of the Extreme Wet Line Gel and the Eco Styler Gel. Okay, listen, these are the heavy duty gels for thick hair. So I'm just going to layer it up and we're going to see what happens, okay? It can either go really good or really bad so let's just pray and hope for the best so my hair has been washed detangled and everything i did use a cream styler just a little bit just to protect my hair since i'm going to be going in with a lot of gel so i've already applied that off camera now i'm just going to go in and applying the gel and saturating in my hair starting in sections so i'm going to be taking really small sections here working my way up taking a water bottle and the key to this is to making sure the hair is like detangled okay because you want to get that smooth look now that the hair is detangled there i'm going to go in with the extreme gel first taking a generous amount and applying it right at the root of the hair and smoothing it down. This is a lot of gel, y'all. This is a lot of gel. Smoothing. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the Eco Styler, add it on top for hold. Taking my bristle brush and I'm just going to smooth the hair down. So I'm going to go through each section and do that same process. A small section from the already sectioned hair. Saturating it with water. Tinkling. Taking some more of that Eco Styler and just slapping it on, guys. It's a lot. <laughs> oh, God. And making sure I'm putting some of that gel all the way down on the ends, too, because that'll elongate the hair and hopefully prevent some of the puffing. The Eco. And putting it and just smoothing it down. 
go and apply it to the roots, y'all. I think the key with this whole look is making sure you apply a generous amount to the roots to be smoothed down. So that's what we know here. And take that brush this time and just smoothing it. So this is the first section. I'm gonna continue this whole process on the other parts of my hair and then I'll come back real quick. Okay, so I just finished the first two sections. So I just wanna show what it is, how it's coming along. So yeah, this is the first two sections. Now I have to go to the front of the hair and mold the hair. I'm gonna be rocking a middle part, of course, with this style. So I just have to clean up my part a lot and then start with these sections of my hair. I'm gonna have a time washing this stuff out of my hair, y'all. Like, I have never had this much gel in my hair. Okay, so I'm at the front of the hair and detangling my hair first with the detangling brush. That went like, like right at the root, right at the root, y'all. And working that down and then taking a little bit of eco to smooth that. And I'm gonna swoop this behind my ear kind of and brush it down. I want it to be kind of like behind my ear so that's how I'm going to mold the front. Working in smaller sections in the front, I want it to be really, 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 really smooth. <laughs> So the first side has been slicked entirely down. Okay, this is what we're working with. And I'm just gonna finish this up and come back and show you guys what it looks like before it dries. <clears throat> okay guys, I'm back. This it is what it is looking like with all of the gel applied. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. My hair feels like a helmet. <laughs> it is heavy. I guess this is a lot of gel on my already thick hair, but this is what it is looking like. Um, it's really laid down and smooth. I think it's going to be really, really cute. So I'm going to use some of these strips to kind of help lay it down. And I am going to sit under the dryer um, and I'm gonna let the rest air dry but I'm gonna sit under the dryer for about 45 minutes to an hour just so it can mold the front and then I'm gonna come back with the final look okay guys this is actually later in the day and I did a little slight beat on my face and um, after I dried my hair, I did tie it up in the scarf. So let's just get this reveal going, shall we? Okay, so here we go. I did tie it down to make sure it was smoothed. And I did put the clips on the end to elongate my hair to prevent some of the shrinkage. So let's let's see what we look like, y'all. So this is what it is looking like. Like Okay, <laughs> it's cute, it's cute. I actually like it, it is so cute, it's so sleek. And this is what it is looking like in the back, yeah. Mm -hmm. My hair is still slightly damp, still slightly damp, but yeah, I'm just loving 
the whole wet look vibes. It's like really sleek. And the look that I'm going for tonight, it just fits the whole vibe. So I'm definitely loving it. My waist is on swim, okay? The waves are on swim. <laughs> and the curls are popping. So yeah, I, I like this look. Now, how long it's gonna take for me to wash it? That's yet to be seen, honey. I probably will have to do at least <laughs> four or five washes to get all of this gel out of my hair. I am loving this look. I probably will put some um, hair accessories on it to dress it up a little bit, but overall, I am loving this look. Comment down below, let me know, have you tried this wet look? I mean, are you into it, or is it just too much gel for one person, okay? <laughs> all right, guys, that is it for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, ciao.